fucking told him not to put his dick in it because it's already rotten and there's no point in fucking something that's been lying there for four hours. Yeah, uh, live only. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to episode number 27. This is episode number 27. So we've done 26 episodes. That's half a year. This is one after 26. So yeah, we've just done over six months now. So... Um, and we've decided that we'll... Um, this will be our last ever episode. 27. They say that's the age to die. So, a um, t- little bit of a uh, special episode. This one, it is our very last ever podcast. This is for you, James Dean. <clears throat> we right. have a special guest on today. His name, actually, it's not just a special... He's a very special guest. <laughs> he's, he's He probably means um, a lot to... Uh, a lot more to us than than a lot of other people uh because it just happens that michael is uh seeing is dating this person yeah well i've got it's an open relationship with my girlfriend and she's allowed me because he's fucking he's yeah he's he's amazing he's he's cute as a button yeah yeah don't and say who it is yet but yeah, it we is won't. michael's boyfriend will be on later in the show yeah. we were lying about um it being our last episode too so don't uh, go crying. S- sorry about that. And um, today's date is the 9th of September, which of course is two days before... September 11th. Which of course is famous for, for the- back in the day when there was a famous horse race in Yugoslavia and the horse, the smallest horse, its legs were two meters tall. Everyone thought it was retarded. No one thought it had a chance. It ended up winning. So the horse was called Bark. Bark. Bark ended up winning on September 11, 2000 and two and yeah. that's why september 11 is so renowned that's why everyone knows you might think september 9 11 what why does that ring such a bell 9 11 9 11 9 11 9 11 why is that so familiar 9 11 that's why bark the horse he's won got- a horse race against all odds so what his back legs two meters tall two meters tall and what did they come down like, did they snap? Or no, fall? no, it was just two meters tall, his back legs. It looked like he couldn't even really walk. But it just turns out that it's actually quite an advantage having your hind legs be two meters tall. He just basically ran like a human. How did, was he from Yugoslavia or did he go on a plane? Um, no one knows. But people think that he's some sort of hybrid between a horse and a silverback gorilla. Oh, wow. Fuck me. Well, there you go. Um, on this day in 1908, Orville Wright makes the first... One hour airplane flight in the US. In 1908, they yeah. had planes. That's the right one of the Wright brothers. Oh, he was so right. Yeah. What was it? Like a wooden plane? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Was it? Yeah, it was a wooden plane and they didn't actually have wings. They had just two huge feathers. It was a very small plane. It was about 30 centimeters long. And Orville Wright wasn't actually on it. He was uh, just running alongside it. With it, holding it, <laughs> what? and he went what around the world? What was it? No, it was just oh. a one-hour flight. It's oh, pretty... so yeah, you just fucking run for an hour, yeah, running around his backyard in circles for an hour. That's easy. And we... then three weeks later, Orville Wright was actually shot in the head because people thought he was insane. So he was shot to death. <laughs> Did they have guns back in 1908 as well? Orville Wright actually invented the gun. Holy shit! Bad move. You shouldn't invent a gun and then do stupid shit like that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get shot, especially in America. Three times out of ten, you're going to get shot. All right, and, all right, famous birthdays. All right, Keanu Reeves, the actor from The Matrix, turns 54 today. Dude, he looks like 30. Yeah, he looks really good. And his secret is listening to this podcast. So Keanu fucking... We did catch up with him in LA. Yeah, oh, oh, man, yeah. remember that fucking thing on the... Uh, I told you on the bus... Don't fucking tell anyone that, <laughs> Keezy. <laughs> you fucking dog cunt. You fucking dog cunt. Don't fucking mention shit to anyone. <laughs> and we also have Salma Hayek, the actor who turns 52 today. Who the fuck is that? She's that chick with four tits. <laughs> Dude, she's cool. Yeah, I don't mind that. And of course, our friend Jamie Zhu turns 25 today. Fuck, we're so old no, compared I'm to other No, I'm 29. I'm only four years older. That's nothing. Yeah, you're four and a half Keanu years older. Keanu Reeves is 54. Yeah, but he's like really f- successful and <gasps> he's done heaps of shit already. We haven't done shit. We've got fucking 26 episodes of a podcast. 27. Out. 
Not yet. What happened this weekend? Oh, I don't think I should say it. Michael pissed his girlfriend's bed. He pissed all over his girlfriend. That's why Michael's leaning towards Lockie now because she's a bit off him. So Lockie gets... Oh, fuck, I've mentioned his name. I guess today is Lockie. So Michael's been pumping Lockie a little bit since uh, his girlfriend's a bit <laughs> dirty. Yeah, well, you fucking been watching me and Jackson put him on the spit. Yeah, well, there's a difference between watching and participating. I yeah, think. well, if you're there, you're sort of participating. I am saying, no, no, please stop. I feel uncomfortable the whole time. Yeah, but you still stay. You could have yeah. left. And once I did take my shirt off. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, you'd had like a bottle of wine that night. And Curious. you had, we just drove past a cow field. <sighs> and yeah, you were a bit friskified. But yeah, yeah, she's not happy. Obviously, it's the first time I pissed her bed. And it's like... Fuck, so awkward. I'm 29 and oh, it's not on. She sends me to the carpet because she's pissed off. I've just pissed her bed. And then I piss the carpet as well. Oh my God. What the fuck, man? Just go to the toilet. I was fucked. I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, a lot, obviously. I can't believe you still haven't thought of something to counter your pissing. Like, yeah. just make make your own nappy like a blanket and staple it together around the sides. Well, or... we were talking about that night when we we're going to the party. She it, it got brought up, and I was, and then I was like, "Oh, I'll just fucking wear an adult nappy." And it's like we manifested it, so we were talking about it early on, and then that night was the night I fucking did it. I wonder if you put on a pair of underwear and then just glad wrapped everything. Like a whole, It'd be like a pool of piss, whole layer of glad wrap around inside tightly. there. Yeah, if you would still inside it would the undies, spray out. Yeah, yours seems to be getting worse. Yeah, he'll have a beer with dinner and shit on the floor. <laughs> well, I guess that has happened before, but that's because I was trying to show you what my shit looks like on the floor. No, and it just slit seeped out a bit. <clears throat> yeah, it's, yeah. Anyway, I've I'm a grown up. I'm 29. We've uh, put up a story on Instagram asking for some questions, and apparently there's a shitload wanting to know. Think people want to know stuff about Lockie, so we're going to combine uh, the fan questions and the uh, special guest. All right. Um. So let's, without further ado, let us introduce our guest for the for the episode. He has amassed a huge following on TikTok. Uh. He he has filmed for the biggest stars in the world. He's been Entrepreneur of the Year in Australia. He he's owns a page called Subtle Bogan Traits and a group. They've, it's 95K in that group, but that's not his biggest following. TikTok. TikTok is his main following. He's verified on TikTok. He's been, uh, he's been, God, to, he's been to court for assault twice. Yeah, and, but that's because the chick deserved it. Grievous bodily harm. I don't know about the second charge. He really fucking hit her yeah, hard. Well, she was fucking... Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, she, she was, was... You're right. She shouldn't have dropped that drink. Yeah, I hate it. All right, without further ado, it is at its locky. You have to move over now, Mike. Oh, oh, fuck me. We need to buy another mic. Lucky we're fucking rich. Okay, Lockie, you were a little confused earlier when we said, do you want to come on the podcast? You, you were a bit nervous about what we're going to ask you. Yes. So why don't we start by um, you just telling everyone who the fuck you are and what the fuck you fucking do, cunt, and how you fucking got into fucking social media, you fucking 21-year-old, 20-year-old little fucking Lockie. It's fucking 20 years old, cunt. 20. I'm 29. She's 30. How did it all start? What did you? How did you start filming with Shami? Because that's like the first... Yeah, well... How I basically started social media when I was like 13 to 15, I had this weird thing I would do. I'd sit at home and watch X Factor. Oh, yeah. And then I'd, whenever there was a good person on X Factor, I'd quickly make a Facebook page and then it would get a lot of likes really quickly because they were trending. Yeah. And then I would sell those pages to whoever the fuck wanted them. Oh, wow. Oh. And like, I would sell them so cheap because I was like 13 and I would sell them for like $100 and it'd have like 60k people on it. Oh, wow. Holy but like shit. $100 to a 13 year old is a yeah, lot of money. It's a lot of oldies. <laughs> and then oh. it just progressed. I'd just make like iPhone meme pages and then I'd just sell those and then I just worked my way up into more pages. And mm. then I, I finished school at year 12. Never had any interest in filming my whole entire life. And I brought a cheap camera and I just started filming weddings and then yeah went from there and how'd you meet Shami and stuff because he's a, he, you're filming with him first yeah you? so they messaged one of the pages I was running 
and wanted to do like a share for share. And then they kind of looked at my profile, saw that I filmed, and then asked me if I wanted to film for them. Wow. And, and then it started from there. Yeah, I just started filming for yeah him. And then and then how long were you filming and living with Shami for? So I lived with Shami for about two years, I think. Yeah. And then, yeah, we kind of just traveled the world, did vlogs, did... Um, that was my main thing, filming vlogs. And then filming little skits and stuff. And then you guys parted ways, and then and then what? And then you fucking and then how did it start with? Because now you film for Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so Dominic. I left working for Charmy, and I just kind of had like a six months off, and I just played games in my room Got for six months straight. Fuck. I didn't leave. I pissed everywhere. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. Friend. I wrote that from Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and then um yeah, Jackson was needing to go over to LA and needed a filmer, and I said yeah, I'll do it. And boom, boom, boom. Here you are. How long have you been filming for Jackson for now? Yeah, since like just so, late December. So January. nearly a year. Yeah. There you go. So you, Lockie's seen some shit. Yeah. Lockie's seen some shit. I've seen some shit. We were in LA <laughs> with Lockie not long ago. And, and that is saw- where, and so I guess we can just quickly talk about the uh, relationship you two have. So we went over to LA. Um, Lockie was over there with Jackson. And um, there's always been a bit of sexual tension with these two. <laughs> Um, you know, flirting here and there, I'd notice like they'd both be blushing and looking at each other, smiling, just little things. And then we went over to LA and things sort of escalated a little bit and, uh, you know, the physical touches started, <laughs> compliments were flowing and, um, and yeah, they've, uh, you guys have kissed now and you are in fact an item now. You are together. You are dating. You are a couple. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, all, yeah, I'm a bit shy too. So, um, where where's this gonna go? Because there's a bit of an age gap as well. You're only fucking twenty years old. Yeah. When's your twenty first? October. So next month. What what, what, what date? Twenty seventh. So we have to do something. I'll be twenty one. He's fucking twenty one, and he's fucking earning more money than every single person watching. <laughs> What do you want to do for your birthday? I don't know. Maybe play some Crash Team Racing? Yeah, oh, oh. yep. That's all we do now, guys, is literally Crash Team Racing. They just remade it. It was a, originally a PlayStation 1 game. And now I got Lockie, my boyfriend, and Jackson into it. And now all we do is play Crash Team Racing. <coughs> so, yeah, maybe a Crash Team Racing themed party. With pingers. Every single and time you lose, pingers, yeah. you have to do a pinger. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's good. You have to fill that up. <laughs> Can you pass me my beer, boyfriend? So uh, you're making a bit of content now yourself, Lockie. So where do you want to? What do you want to go with it? What do you want to be doing in five years' time, where you don't even fucking know? You just know you're just gonna be rolling in cash. You just don't know how yet. Yeah, five years. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's always I've always created content since I was like young. So when I was in school, we had this page called Born Awkward One Hundred One. Yeah. And we were just basically a copycat of the Janoskians, and we would just do the dumbest shit. We just we literally had like five thousand likes when we were young, and then we had like two haters, and we stopped because <laughs> <laughs> like we were so young and it really got to us. Yeah. And then yeah, I've just really been making little videos here and there, but not never really done it full time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, maybe five years, I'd like to be doing it full time, just doing dumb shit. Yeah. Well, your TikTok will be pretty big in five years' time. <sighs> yeah, I know. At its lucky. I know. This should this should definitely get you a couple of hundred thousand uh, new followers. I was thinking, yeah, at least five hundred k. That's the average. Awesome. Then that'll be a quarter of my following. Yeah. <laughs> so I've already got twelve million on it. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Let's, we got some questions for you, dude. Yeah. Oh, there's quite me. a lot of interest in uh, in you, Lockie, from these from what I've heard for these questions. So let's uh, let's get into the questions. <laughs> All right. This is for all of us. This question. The first one is from. Big underscore Chungus underscore worldwide. How much pieces of Lego can you shove up your ass? Uh, 16 pieces, but those are the ones with the three uh, dots down and the two across. So the pretty big one. But yeah, 16 is the answer for me. I could... I've never tried it, but I reckon I could give it a good go. Without going to the hospital, I reckon I could do 10. I reckon you could do 13 or 14. Well, you'd have to shit them out. It'd be really hard. Like, And they'd get stuck because of the jagged edges. I reckon I could put like 30 in there. I just, I'd have to go to hospital. Yeah, you no, sneeze. you just manipulate your cheeks, uh, roll them around from side to side and the shapes of the Lego moves around inside until you get the smooth edge that comes out. And you think maybe if you comes shit, out. it'd come out with the shit with the Lego. Yeah, you're like, your arsehole can expand to the size of a 50 cent piece and any Lego could pass through that. 
So Indeed. if you think about a, a wide cock going into an ass, easily stretches mm. to 50 cent pieces. So you just have to pull your cheeks open enough so that the Lego can sort of, and then just move your cheeks from side to side so the Lego can sort of move and then come out in the right angle. But you could even get your fingers in your ass and pick them out yourself. Another, yep, another thing so you, you do, just, just pull the cheeks apart and help, get a friend to help pair of tongs. You would get into a cannibal position and then sneeze all out at once. Yep. Bang. Yeah. You'll Dangerous. probably cut yourself on the way out, but... At least it's all over. It's fast. You'd have to lube them up, but it'd just be like shelving pill. It's like ripping a Band-Aid off. Really, really big, yeah, like big pills. Big pills. Hard pills. Yeah. Great question. <coughs> Great question. All right. Next question is from Jake underscore Banyard. When are Marty and Michael going to adopt Lockie? Um, Why would that's so fucked up? Think about that. That's fucked. Yeah, that would mean that it's okay Lockie's, for Marty. Lockie's dad is fucking him. So yeah, it's not it's not okay just because of the relationship that Lockie and Michael have. So if they weren't romantically interested in each other, yes, we would definitely adopt Lockie. It would be a very funny video. Can you adopt someone over eighteen? I don't know. We should do it though. Or you could at least become a guardian. That'd be a good video. Mm. I would, if I had to choose a guardian, it would not be any of you. <laughs> 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 He's seen some shit. Oh, great question. Great question. <laughs> great question. Next question is from Sophie. Salinas. Salaninas. How would you pronounce that? Salinas. Salinas. I thought Michael's boyfriend was Marty anyway. How Michael and Lockie become boyfriends? How did, I guess? Is you want to tell thing. the story, Lockie? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so one day we were we were taking a hike to the Hollywood sign. Mm, oh, yeah. And then we, we were waiting for Jackson to come and we were waiting for ages and it was getting boring. And we were like, me and Michael were like, okay, let's just get a quick photo in front of the Hollywood sign. And then I looked at Michael to see if he was ready for the photo and he looked at me. And then he just come in for the kiss. And I actually captured that moment where there's a photo of them. <laughs> there is a photo of oh. it. There were times beforehand where, because me and Lockie are normally in the back seat when we're driving somewhere. Marty's in the front and so is J Jackson's normally driving. And like we sometimes look at each other and I know, I guess I was just nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was nervous at the beginning. But like there were times where I'd catch myself just like going into like a dream state and I just my eyes would close and I'd start leaning in and I'd just go closer and then there were times where it started off he'd just ignore me like you were ignoring me at the I start. didn't know what you were doing yeah 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 you didn't understand it and this is like there's a whole fucking you know meter between us but then it got to the point where he started to close his eyes and do it back and we were like getting real close but we were nervous like I hadn't spoken to my girlfriend yet about having a boyfriend and yeah like i didn't want to actually kiss and the hollywood sign it was like it was the moment that like it was powerful it was a lot we of overseas it was special romantic there was people watching us and we just let it out you couldn't moment. you couldn't not kiss it was very there's a lot of energy there's a lot of passion in the air so it's just official from there really yeah, yeah ever since then they've sort yeah. of been just slamming each other's asses yeah, pumping away like oh. pump like pump 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 coming bum come the bum yelp you yelp sometimes yeah like imagine hitting a small dog at, like that <laughs> exactly like that great question, great question. <laughs> all right next question is from oh he's done that thing again where he screenshots when someone's met a notifications oh. come down from the top to hide the username so sorry to whoever this is but great questions marry fuck kill godzilla dwayne johnson matthew brown from wholesome Mm, I would um, I would uh, I'd fuck Godzilla Wow uh, I'd have to marry Matthew Brown from Wholesome Our producer is very uh, gentle Very beautiful man And um, I'd have to kill uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson um, Just you know If you fuck Godzilla and kill Dwayne The Rock Johnson No one's <coughs> ever going to fuck with you again If you have that much power you know what I mean? Oh, that's the guy that fucked Godzilla. Like, imagine just overpowering and fucking Godzilla. That's insane. But he couldn't fuck you, because that's the end. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Godzilla's a chick, just based on how pissed off he is. Oh! 
Ooh. I don't know what we were yelling at then. <laughs> um, I'd probably marry. Actually, fuck it. I'd fuck Matt Brown. <laughs> I'd marry Dwayne because of the cash, and I'd kill Godzilla to save everyone. I had that was yeah, that was my order. My oh, list. of course. Oh, the money, the money for Dwayne Johnson. Uh, yeah, and, yeah boyfriends true. think alike. I don't want to be a, a one night stand for Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for uh, for love. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh no, you kill him. Who? Dwayne. No, yeah, no, that's what I mean. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for love. Oh, <laughs> you want to marry Matthew from Wholesome? Okay. From Wholesome. He's also asked this person if you could suck your own dick, would it feel more like getting your dick sucked or sucking a dick oh Ooh, wow that's pretty good that's incredible i actually have i've not been able to like suck my dick but i've been able to stretch it and then get my like i've touched it with like my my wow. lips holy shit just just like just did an experiment because i'm a scientist i swear to fucking god yeah, I remember you doing that a lot, trying to, and then yeah, it's very, un- it was very uncomfortable. Obviously, if you can suck your dick, unless you're some freakishly flexible person, but I imagine it would, uh, <clears throat> it would be a combination of the two. It'd be like seventy percent getting your dick sucked, thirty percent because you go into like you know just rhythm, and it wouldn't even feel like you're sucking a dick. Well, you compare it to giving you tossing off. It doesn't feel like you're tossing a dick. It feels like you're getting tossed off. So I imagine it would be the same. Yeah, well. And those questions were from Trenticles underscore 87. Thank you. Trenticles, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, and this is from Jake dot underscore underscore dot 21. How did you meet each other and what was the weirdest things that happened in school? I hope the question is good enough. Ooh. It is. All right, well, how's still instead of school to keep Lockie involved? <coughs> what's the weirdest <laughs> shit you've seen? In your How days. did we meet each other? We met you through Shami, yeah. who you used to film for. Yeah, remember the first time we met, we met you guys at a... Well, I don't know if it was the first time we met, but the first time we hung out was at a pub. And um, and then we all just got fucking hammered together during yeah, the day playing pool. Cravat. Especially me and Marty. We did. I don't know. Did you drink? I can't remember. We just like kept getting those fucking up. monster jugs of oh, beer. Oh, they're called the juggernauts. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then I remember I walked in. I think it was you, Marty? I walked in the cubicle and you're pissing all over the wall. <laughs> I remember that at the Classic. pub. We were the only people in the pub and then one other guy walks in. Obviously, it has to be one of us <laughs> that has done that. <laughs> oh, my oh God. man. Yeah, so we met him, what, like two years ago? Oh, yeah. Two, yeah, two and a half. A year and a half, two years ago. Anyway. And for the school thing, yeah, you think that Lockie's little angel, but <laughs> he's fucking done some shit. Done some shit at school. Yeah. Haven't you, Lockie? What um, did you get? What did you get expelled for? Oh, I was just used to getting so many fights <laughs> when I was in primary school. <laughs> like when I say like I was like eight, nine, and anyone that annoyed me, I just I would fight them. But I wasn't an angry kid. And then I, uh, I probably was an angry kid. I used to get into fights with my mum a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not like I wouldn't go at her. She'd get angry at me, and then she'd go to smack me, and then I would just block it. <laughs> Did you ever po- throw one back at her? No, nah, I never punched her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, oh yeah. It still could happen. <laughs> oh yeah. Mum? Be careful, mum. <laughs> She's in Nigel's basement. <laughs> yeah. I don't talk to her much. <laughs> What's uh, any other crazy stories that if you if we're if you're out in a if you ever see Lockie out in a nightclub and you have a pill in your pocket, it doesn't even need to be a drug, just anything, just pop it in his mouth and he'll swallow it without I'll asking any probably questions. Probably take it. There's been so many, yeah, well, a couple times where I just, <laughs> he'll just swallow whatever I put in his mouth. So yeah, if you anyway. see him out, just fucking whatever you've got on him, he'll swallow just it. Just feed him. And then we'll see what happens in 40 minutes. I could be passed out. I could be dancing. <laughs> I would suggest giving me a ping up because you'll see some good dancing. <laughs> so true. But I'll take what I can get. <laughs> <laughs> could be fucking chloroform. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question is from Henna underscore Robo one. Would you rather swallow or spit? Spit. Bit. If spit. we're talking about cum, I'd probably prefer to spit it out. Well, I guess it's in your mouth, and it is funny to say to people. We have swallowed a load before. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. It's 50-50. So for street cred, I'd swallow the fucking thing. It'd be so funny. Imagine if you came in a girl's mouth, 
And she spat it back at you. Yeah. Wow. Back into your mouth. And then you... <laughs> and then like birds. Yeah. You're just spitting cum. <laughs> and, and you make the same no- noise as birds do when they feed each other. What noise is that? <laughs> well, we always... Like, we... I don't know. I was, I've only just started pumping <coughs> blokes now since oh. being with Lockie. And we... We... we we spit. We don't. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. I don't want to get pregnant. Yeah. Simple as that. I'm not getting pregnant. Yeah, it's 2019. Young. Too young. Yeah, too young. Like, yeah. You can't risk we it. We don't want to risk that shit. <laughs> Michael just pulls out and and just sprays his chunks all over Lockie's back. <clears throat> yeah. And then I, I slide on the floor. A like a slug. <laughs> yeah. We use his feet to slither down the floorboards to the bathroom. And he's still hard. This yeah. is very graphic. How do you know this? I watch. Yeah. Uh, but I don't participate. <coughs> I just watch. Great question. <laughs> Great question. All right. Next question is from Jaden Peter Sen. And then it's run out because I've screenshotted it and he's got a long name on Instagram. So just type Jaden Pesh. How did Lockie link up with so many top notch creators? Yeah, lucky. They linked up with him. He yeah. didn't have to fucking do yeah, anything. We just, I guess, explain that, right? Yeah, like Logan Paul was messaging me last week saying, "When can I hang out with you again?" And I, he's fucking I met. He's you played piano for Logan Paul. Yeah, in a, in a the hotel that Michael Jackson used to live in. It's, it's fucking. It's like the biggest penthouse slash apartment in Vegas. Vegas, and they. It's like what eighty grand a night. Sixty thousand USD a night. So a hundred grand a night. <laughs> they got it and then you played piano for Logan yeah, Paul he was there. laying on top of the piano staring at me and I just played him a song god it makes it, fuck you don't tell me about that I was, I was gonna jealous. say I was gonna say I can <sighs> see he's getting a bit jealous yeah, yeah so like he's 20 years old he, all, the, all the biggest influences in the world he fucking knows them they come to him they come to him that's just why that. he's here we came to him some even come in him hmm <laughs> Great question. <laughs> All right. Next question, Seb. Wadro. What is Lockie's sexuality? Are you bi? Oh, he's straight. Yeah, yeah, I'm straight. Lockie's straight. Oh, so. Yeah. Obviously, but yeah, they, he fucks Michael and he, and he fucks guys, but yeah, he's straight. I'm not gay. I just or, fuck or Michael. Bi, he's just, he's just, he fucks Michael. He's, yeah. a, he's just a straight guy that fucks guys. Exactly. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. <laughs> Thought that was pretty obvious. Great question. <laughs> Great question. This one's from Lyndon BC twenty four. Do you guys pay Lockie, or does he get paid from videos as well? Um, well, if uh, when Lockie comes along and helps us out and stuff, yeah. Or he he sometimes Lockie will get us some work, and then we give him a little bit of money. But yeah, the people he works for, does work for, yeah, they pay him, so he gets paid via social media. This one's from Marty and Mickey underscore R. Who's loudest out of you two when it comes to sex? Me and you? Oh, it depends who's going, but... Depends who's doing the pumping, I guess. I yelp, Michael, more like more of a roar, like a... In terms of decibels, like though, I've, yeah, I would say that Michael, uh, from what I've heard, Michael's definitely louder. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 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 Funny enough, though, Michael's got the bigger dick. Yeah, Michael is a, is a uh, triangle dick, but I'm not a I'm not a sook, you know. I don't I don't sook about it. I just take it. Takes it. It does a bit of yelping and then they swap. <laughs> That's my boy. This is really fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh. Aren't you glad you came on the show? I was gonna have a heap of gay cunts in my fucking DMs now, <laughs> but I'm taken. <laughs> How did Lockie fall out the window from Lockie Wall underscore seventeen? So there was a, a video on Lockie's Instagram of um Is that me still up? me yeah. pushing him out the window. Go have a geese. It was an accident. It was just a joke gone wrong in uh, in LA. I was Michael's like pulled his phone. I was like, oh, you go scare Lockie and like pretend to push him out the window. But the sill is the window sill is like quite low. It's like it was like knee height. <laughs> it's, and it's, we'd piss out of there into the spa. Yeah, and um, Lockie was like leaning out the window. I went to scare him, and it, it scared him so much that he fell forwards two stories and landed on his fucking back. No, I spent a day in hospital, so that wasn't fun. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. I'm not dead. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so um, that's how we fell out the window. Great question. 
All right, we've got two more. And this is, how many times do you masturbate or suck Michael's or Marty's dick for money asking for their friend? These questions. This is from Miss Morgan Kelly. Some of these questions are very, uh, very sexually based. And I'm not sure why. But anyway, answer the question. Well, you don't do it for money. For me, it's for free. We just do it for... We're buds. Normally, like, we got, we had to have, like... It's more weekend shit because we get a bit drunk and then we act out. Because we're still so new to this shit that, like, you know, it's only just started. LA was the first time we kissed. Now it's like we have a few beers and then shit happens. I can't remember half the sex we have as I'm blackout. But, like, I know that it. I can't. As far as I know, I'm having sex with a girl when Mark is in doggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got the long, lush, blondish, sandy blonde hair. Reddish. And he arches his back like a chick, too, yeah. when he's getting <laughs> fucked. Like, his chest is on the mattress, and he's just, like... I've like, seen him... he's trying to, like, smell the ground. That's what he... I've seen him grab, like, his hand and put it on his boobs, and he'll squish his pecs together like that, so it feels like he's got a tit. Michael, yeah, Marty was watching and then that he'll, day. he'll push back on Lockie's cock <laughs> into it. Yeah, I always try and I tell him not to like come. Um, I just want to do all the work. But yeah, that's, yeah. As I said, it's when we're drunk and I don't remember half of it, but I always come. Great question. Right. <laughs> Last question. Thanks. Last question. Something a little bit different from what we've been talking about. This is from DreamWork. DreamWorks Factory What kind of music Do you like Techno They just assume We like techno um, I like um, uh, Fuck Heaps of different shit Really He's like classics He's like classics Yeah we're old We like people We like music That was popular When we were Favourite band 18 Probably the Foo Fighters Or um, uh, Miley Cyrus mm. Mine's Black Sabbath If you look to our right here That <coughs> is an original 1970s Black Sabbath poster God, that's scary. Yeah, yeah, it's haunted. Apparently, the Ozzy, one of Ozzy the men... Osbourne's the one on the far right, which would be your left if you're watching this. I just listen to like a lot of mumble rap. You know, I'm one of them. And classics, though. I like classics. Yeah, yeah. Lockie's yeah, well, Lockie's a great DJ. Whenever we are driving with him, he puts the playlist on, and we never <laughs> ever like. Yeah, that's why I'm with him. He's a yeah. good guy. Yeah, right, exactly. Classics. <clears throat> okay, guys, um, that is the end of the uh, fan questions, and that is the end of our special guest segment with uh, Lachlan Godfrey. Thank you. Uh, go and follow him on all of his social medias. Um, he's a fucking genius. He's 20 years old, and he's better than everyone that watches this. He's he's nearly up there with us. That's how good he is. Yeah. So, what's, um, he, what's your handles? He just said it. It's Locky. Uh, it's Locky. I T S L A C C I. So My mum was drunk. TikTok. <laughs> is that actually how you spell your name? Yeah, L A C C L A N is how you spell my name. And his mum was hammered. Yeah. All right, Lucky. Thanks for coming on the show, Thank man. We'll fucking me. see you soon, brother. We fucking love you to pieces. <laughs> 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 and then just go on and kiss each other goodbye. What a lovely way to end that Ooh. segment. Ooh. All right, it's time for our next segment, and the segment name has been changed this week. It's uh, been renamed to. <clears throat> and this of course is just where we talk about an old story that's happened to us and this week's story is the time we l had a little shitty tv show and they cancelled it on us because of our behavior yeah fuck all right, so this was like 2016 or some shit, and you wouldn't even really call it a TV show. It was, it was com like community TV. So you like it's one state your show's shown in. Yeah, and it's like like just shit quality, low production shit. But a lot like, of big, a lot of big TV personalities started on community TV, like Rove. Really, Rove started on Bruce Thirty One, the same Lyle, channel we. Fucking OG. Anyway, we had a uh, show, and um, that's actually how we met Jackson and Charmy as well. We got them on the show as guests. But as soon as they, um, as soon as we had the first episode ready to air, I wrote the monologue, and we were doing this show with uh, two other guys, and um, they hated it straight away. They couldn't take a joke. It's just, it's just fucked. So the yeah, TV station just couldn't handle the monologue. But uh, now looking back at it, you don't. Pay out the people who are fucking feeding you. It's yeah. like biting the hand that feeds you. If so, this channel that gave us this opportunity for this show, we basically in the monologue of our show 
put them down like they were scum fucks. They are though. So it's just fun to take the piss out of it. And they, they should know that and just be able to take a fucking joke. Anyway, yeah. that set the precedent for the rest of the season and they just hated us and were trying to stop us at every turn. But we had a contract written up so they couldn't. But then two episodes before we were due to finish the season and um, get paid, they they uh, we had the show cancelled because Michael and I were doing this segment out in the streets where um, <coughs> we, we were interviewing drunk people, asking them, you know, I forget what we were even asking them, but we had to make them sign these forms saying that they give permission for us to put them on TV. And our produ- there was a big line of people and our production assistant making everyone sign. And then we had like a fucking stack of waivers like this high, you know, of people that have given consent for themselves to be on TV. And then the episode airs. So one bitch calls in and complains. She I never consented. She did. She fucking signed the waiver. Dumb, drunk, fuck, oh, forgot. She was so fucking sick. Oh. Her tits were over her back. Like she just would, she wouldn't have her tits here. She'd flip them over her back because they were so fucked. I think. And uh, anyway, she was, yeah, just a real nasty bitch. Just wanted to fucking, you know, this is going to hurt my work. Blah, blah, blah. Then don't fucking interview, get interviewed, you Anyway, flipped bitch fucking tit, flipping her tits over her shoulders as she was talking to us. Anyway, then the uh, station was like, "Oh, this this girl's put in a formal complaint. Do you have the the waivers?" And then we looked for the waivers, and they're fucking gone. Anyway. And um, and so they're like, "What the fuck? You, like this? She could sue us for you know defamation, blah blah blah." Big tit back, just tits on the back, floppy fucking boobs, just all over her back and shoulders. Hairy Fuck. chest, really thick thighs. Upside down, underneath breast knee, thing. Knees buckling. Fuck. Ankles thicker than her body. And um, she, uh, I don't think she was even, over, I can't even remember what she looks like, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I just remember that, yeah, there was tits on her back. Yeah, no, that definitely sounds like her. And uh, yeah, so she put in a formal complaint and they tore her contract up two weeks out before we were due to finish the season. And get paid. So we didn't get paid, and we spent all this money and got into a lot of debt because of it, and uh, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, it's... <laughs> like, far out, just, like, yeah, and it's like, she could have, it could have been worse, she could have sued, and then we would have been bloody really fucked, but um, yeah, we just lost the show, and then we just went back to the internet, and then from that point on, it took like another year and a half before we got anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> like, TV's dead anyway, and... Uh, <laughs> Good thing that happened from that show was we met Jackson and Charmy. We met a lot of cool people. And yeah, and yeah, Mike Goldman from Big Brother came on as a guest. Michael Beveridge from Big Brother came on as a guest. Susie Taylor came Susie on. Susie Taylor. Mm. Who else fucking came on the show? Uh, just some other some other YouTubers. We had Brock Porky, yeah, guy Brock. from owner of Blokes Advice. Yeah. We had yeah, um, it, was, it was a fun. It was fun. Arnie Donna came on. Comedians oh, from Arnie Melbourne. Donna, they're amazing. Yeah, we had some fucking cool people come on the show, and that was that was the best part of it. We got to meet some cool people, and we got to be on a TV set, and we had to do our own little segment. And we had to, the tit challenge; it was competitions, called competitions. Yeah, which I won, and then I got to, as the winner, I got to the Michael's overall punishment for the entire season was that I got to pick the tattoo that uh, that I put on Michael, and we went to the tattooist, and it was all set, and he's like, "Oh yeah, all right." Um, and Michael w- was like blindfolded; he didn't know what he was going to get. And then I had to tell the tattoo artist what I wanted to get on his ass. And it was so vulgar that he was like, no, no, I'm not doing that. And he got really upset with me because I suggested this. It was pretty fucked. I wanted to get on Michael. I fuck kids. Like imagine if I would get that covered up if that was... It's pretty... Like 50... I might have gotten that covered up. I can't guarantee that. That is a shocking thing to have on your body. But yeah, Yeah. I, I can see why I said no. And then we ended up just getting I have herpes on him. Which, Which is likes. like, it was just fu- like funny. And there's little red dots on it. So really, yeah. I lose because he likes it. Yeah, it looks cool. It's pretty. It shocks girls. And then anyway, the TV station had to um, go online and then they fucking shit and fuck you, you fucking dumb dogs. We're the best and you guys are just fucked. Well, that TV station that we did that show is now shut down. Is that what you just said? Something like that, yeah. All right, on to our last segment of the show. Um, and of course, it is the pr- the uh, the prank call, but the segment has been renamed. Do you guys want to know what it's been renamed to? Do you want? 
It's been renamed to that. <clears throat> Holy shit. My ears hurt. So basically, it's just a prank haul. And for this week, I'm going to... Um, what was I going to do again? Fuck. Oh, really strange. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just be really weird. I'm just going to say very strange things, do weird noises, and just really try and fuck with them a little bit. Domino's has been hanging up on us a fair bit lately. So I don't know if we'll be able to go with them. <laughs> okay, so here comes the prank call. Everyone get ready. <laughs> Siri called Domino's Aspley. Here we go. <clears throat> Gonna be Lucky weird. just kissed me. He just blew a kiss at me. <laughs> yeah, good day, mate. Can I just make a boop, 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 pickup order, please? Sorry. Can I just make a pickup order, please? <laughs> yeah. What kind of pickup would you have? Uh, can I just get a couple? Um, I'll have a um beef basement outside. Put some stairs down the railings, and I'll uh, be back later on to give you the final invoice. I'll just have a barbecue uh, meat lovers, please. One on. Uh, and um, then, can I also get a large breasts? A Hawaiian, please, on a uh, pan base. Yeah. Um, and what are the? Uh, is, are there any sort of two pizzas and side? My, 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 Oh yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Last time I had garlic oh, sir, bread there. Otherwise, your only two pieces will cost you twenty six ninety. Last time I had garlic bread there, uh, my legs were shaking until I started falling backwards for a little while. But um, I guess I'll get some garlic bread and um, wander down the city streets and sing to the cattle. Meow, 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 meow. Sorry, I didn't catch your voice because there's any disturbance going on over there. <laughs> Yes, I'll, so I'll just I'll uh, confirm the uh, garlic bread, and I'll also get a um, a drink. Do you guys have any um, uh, bottled have grass? Fancy, bottled fancy grass. Man. Which one? Bottled grass with vinegar in it. No, we have only Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Mountain Dew, Solo, Seven Up, and Sun Kiss. Oh yeah, I think that bottled grass with vinegar. I think uh, the American term is Mountain Dew. So I'll get a uh, Mountain Dew. My fake notion in Louis Payne Tin Tain. I'm knocking on the neighbor's windows, man. <laughs> and I'll also just get... So can you just read that order back to me now? Sorry. Uh, there's very disturbing. So can you read it again, please? Yeah, so we've got one large barbecue meat lovers and I've thrown it downstairs. And then I've got one Hawaiian on a pan and I've been stomping on that thing for four hours. And then we've got... The garlic bread, which I've thrown in the oven and then yelled at my wife. And then a um, Mountain Dew, which I've poured down a hill. I, you ordered just one barbecue meat lovers, one Hawaiian, one garlic bread and one Mountain Dew, right? Yeah, and then can I just get one more um, side? I'll just get a um, <clears throat> muscle and chicken curry and a um, Thai beef salad. Do you have any? Have do you have no, any live have salmon with electric fence? Sorry. Do you have any live salmon with electric fence? There's a chair downstairs. No, we have only pizzas. So only pizzas. No sandwich. No oh, burger, sorry. I'm just doing the uh, electrical work on uh, a penthouse where I used to live. So uh, just excuse my um, thumping headache. My balls are big. Where are you? Uh, we are in Townside Dominoes. All right, sweet. Well, I might take my horse down there, tie it to the back, and then stick a knife in its throat. Nah, nah, nah I'm not going to... Where am I? Uh, you're in Townside Dominoes. Uh, we are 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 in I just need to um, roll in some glad wrap and spit on my uncle. Make it like Sorry, sir, what do you want from us? Just tell me clearly that. So you this is just pieces, one garlic bread and Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah, just but can I just can I just book this in for pick up on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. the seventeenth of October, two thousand and twenty one. I'm blind. I can't Sorry, see sir. right now. Wrong number. Oh shit, I'm on. <laughs> 
<laughs> you thought like straight away he'd be up with something like what the fuck's wrong with you when you start minute minute dick dick dook he's like jibber jabbing his final sentence was oh sorry wrong number shut the fuck, fuck off that's the wrong number we know exactly who we're calling <sighs> <clears throat> <laughs> Fucking I well, can't I can't believe he doesn't crack up there. It's so hard not to laugh because he's yeah, just he so was, serious. I saw off. you. You almost cracked it at the pouring mountain dew down the hill. <laughs> 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 I liked it when you said you were shoving the garlic bread into the oven and you're yelling at your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, that is the end of episode number 27. And uh, we'd just like to finish this episode by thanking our sponsors. Fuck! We're the best! We're the best! We're the best! We're the best! We're the best!